morning y'all happy monday last night was such a good sunday evening it rained but now my pool is a mess so i was cleaning out this morning i smell like chlorine we're going to go work out um the next couple of days are gonna be really good having a little wellness morning routine i just have been feeling so inflamed like i don't really know why i mean honestly i'm not like eating cleanest but still like i just feel so inflamed so we're going to an infrared sauna and a cold plunge i actually have it cold plunge and i know i'm gonna absolutely hate it i like cryotherapy like there's cold therapy that i can do but something about being immersed in cold water terrifying so i do like hot cold therapy though so anyways i'm going to this place that i've seen a uh, sweat house and doing the west village location so we're gonna see how that goes but it's gonna be a nice little wellness morning and then hopefully after that i'm gonna be very productive getting my nails done is literally my least favorite thing in the entire world and i'll put it off for so long but it's gotta happen today so anyways hi if y'all are new here subscribe we're just gonna be hanging out for the next like, two days hope you guys enjoy like a vitamin C shower here. So nice. Okay, it's cold plunge time. I'm so scared, but I'm just gonna black out. I'm doing it. I'm, I started at 11. I guess I didn't even look at the clock correctly. It is cold. It's actually not the worst thing ever, but that's because I'm also not like putting my shoulders down, but I'm just not ready for that, okay? I'm doing this and it's good enough. Whew. I'm gonna do like another 60 seconds and I'm gonna actually submerge more. Bye. I'm back from the cold plunge and the sauna. It was really nice. So after I filmed, I actually went all the way under for like a minute and a half, I think. Like a minute and then I did a minute and a half to like a 30 second break. And I definitely feel more like on it today and what, like I feel like so awake, which is good. I have a long list of to-do stuff that's just like boring work stuff, but tomorrow will be a better day to vlog because we're gonna go to the mall or something. Um, but I'm just getting all this done. I'm about to order some lunch and um, I need to get my nails done at some point and I need to get my brows done. I've been putting that off for so long. Um, but yeah, I love the office. I have some home updates that I'll show you guys later too. But I'm just, I'm excited. I'm trying to, you know, really get things going. I'm also going to the PBR very soon with First Class Cowboy, Sophie Davis. And like, that's like quite the honor. So I really need to get a good outfit because this is like stressing me out more than it should. Just because it's like, I'm obviously going with the PBR queen. So like, I've really gotta, gotta think this one through. Okay, it's 3.30. I'm gonna take a little break because I need to get my nails done and I need to do that before the place closes and I need to go to FedEx and run some errands and get some stuff printed. I decided that I'm gonna do a little like a vision board. I need some stuff on the board. I'm just a visual learner and a visual thinker. But for a friend of mine, which I've been working on another product drop that I'm not gonna share just yet because we have one thing coming out that I'm the most excited for in November and it's just like another version of that so once that's out then we'll be sharing i want you guys to guess it's the most on brand thing that i could possibly do in like every area of my life anyways um i've been working on the next version of that and i pretty much have it done to at least send over to my designer um but i just need like products things and like the vibe of things that i want like on this board as well as just like a little life one so we're gonna go get some stuff printed out and continue on with that tonight. Poor Fitz this weekend, by the way. So Thursday morning I woke up and he had one hotspot. My dog's like, what, what's going on with them, you know? Um, he had one hotspot and a lot of the time I have a spray for them and they just go away with him, but then it didn't. And then I left for the day Friday and he had his dog sitter here and then I came back and it was like the size of, it was massive, it was like so disgusting. So I got home late, so then I booked an appointment through Modern Animal, which is like the vets that we're going to now. They just opened in Lakewood. They're amazing. I cannot recommend them enough, seriously. Like I've had 
every one of my personal I switch over to them and you can use I think it's code Kenzie you get either the first year membership free or like something crazy at least like a discount it is amazing because you can do everything from the app like even like refill prescriptions you can have all of your files on the app you can book them you can talk to them 24 7 like there's so many things just awesome so anyways got him in there that being said I'll show you guys him the poor guy had to get shaved and that's just like how hot spots are they develop very quickly, but because he's had them before, I just thought he'd be okay. You can't even see. He's on the other side. His back is just shaved. I won't show you guys because it's kind of gross. Oh, hi, bud. Bedhead. Um, yeah, just poor guy, you know. It's on the other side of him, and honestly, it's for the best because it's kind of gross looking. But he was supposed to get a bath today, too, and he can't do that now. Oh, this is what I was going to show you. My new light. I don't know if I've already shown you guys this. So this is the new light. It makes the room look so much cozier. And I also put one in my closet room. And it is so much better. Walking in to my closet room. It's so much better. It looks so much nicer. Also, this crate is so ugly in the background. But I think I'm going to get the Fable crate. Um, it looks so much nicer. And I'm working with them on the podcast. So I will have a code. So I'm probably going to use my own code. But... It looks so much better. Anyways, I know this is stupid, but I don't like filming in here, even though it's the most beautiful room half the time because there's always a glare when I have the fan. And now that there's no glare, I feel like I'm gonna be filming so much more and like making so many more TikToks and stuff, which like sounds so stupid, but like it is what it is. Um, also, the view. My mom's, by the way, they're finally, they were holding on for a little bit and now they're like done done. It's been pouring, so there's not only like, so much I can do. It's just so cute to have this little space. I spent the weekend out here. It was just so nice. Like, I love this house. Best thing I ever did. Okay, my nails look so much better. I love brown nails. I know they're kind of uh, controversial, but look so much better. Back home and my Olipop subscription has arrived. I get the repair ones. I've just been taking little videos in my house because it's so clean right now. Also, my body wash. I haven't tried the bergamot. I've only had the eucalyptus. I love this body wash. It's necessary. so good. I don't even know if I have room in my fridge. Like, I'm the only, like, single person who just somehow has a full fridge. Like, I don't know. Half of it is, like, I get sent PR, like, drinks. And I really need to start saying no to all of them because I just don't have the room. Um, but anyways, we're just getting some things situated, fixed up, and then we're gonna kind of vision board tonight. It's not really vision boarding, I just need to like cut it all out. We'll do it. Something about vision boarding is like so personal. Like, since it's going up in my office and people can see it, I didn't put like super personal things on the one for myself. I just put like what I want my life to feel like. But I don't know, like I was thinking about it. I was like, I can't have people see. I don't know what it is. Like, just because that's like my guest room, I don't know who's gonna be staying there. I don't know. Something about it, it's very vulnerable. Okay? It is. It just is. Okay, here we go, and it looks really good. So this is more of my life, which it's a lot of, like, you guys get the vibe. Living on land, horses, that's like Martha Stewart's collection, dinner parties, live music, country concerts, all of the things, just very calm. It's a garden, flowers, you guys get the vibe. And then this is more of like friend of mine stuff. So just kind of like general like product stuff I want to do. Overall vibes. There's like obviously a different reason that I've penned every single one of them. But yeah, I think it looks really good. It is 
it's like 6.40 in the morning. Dang it. Okay, well, anyways, happy Wednesday. I cannot believe I forgot coffee. So I need to order my batter, grab some on the way home. Um, but today's gonna be a really good day. I'm gonna go to Pilates, come home, get some work done, and then just kind of are gonna have a fall and all afternoon and then I blow out tonight. I just like really, like I said, I've been wanting it to feel like fall. Um, so that's what we're gonna be doing. Update on yesterday in the cold plunge, I will say like I was the most clear and focused. I wouldn't say I was like crazy, crazy motivated like I have been previously with that stuff, but like I just feel like I got more done than normal and I was more productive and I was just like, my mind was like clearer, you know? So anyways, um, I really want a cold plunge and sauna for my house, but uh, that's not happening anytime soon. So, um, or maybe it is and I just don't know it. Maybe, maybe it is, who knows? Oh my God, I can't believe I forgot coffee. I have to go do a heated hot Pilates class. <laughs> of course, of course. By the way, my top is that active and then these shorts are, I think Amazon actually, they're linked on my storefront. They came in a set, but I don't know where the top is. I'm on my way to get Botox. I haven't gotten Botox in so long. Um, I'm getting it on my forehead. I think I normally get it like, I guess maybe I get it once a year. I always thought I got it every six months, and now that I'm thinking about it, I really think I get it once a year. I don't know, we're gonna figure it out. I'm going to Germani, um, mention my name, you get money off, they have everything. My dad opened it last year. Um, and thank you to everyone. There's so many of y'all who have gone, but I love it because one, they have like a membership thing so you can get like better deals, but they also only hire like nurse practitioners. A lot of med spas, especially in Dallas, will hire people who are not actually like NPs, which is like whatever, but like I would prefer that because it's like literally needles in your face. And then also, it's where I get like my hydrofacials, um, laser hair removal. I mean like literally anything that a med spa has and you can get it discounted with my name. So anyways, I'm also gonna get Botox on my neck. I've never gotten it there, but like I have like tech neck. I've noticed it in the past like Recently, it's really bothering me, so I'm hoping that this does something for me. I'll keep you guys posted. I'm gonna show you a little before. Just give me a quick second. Okay. Well, there. But like, I don't feel like this is the lighting that's showing you really what it is. Anyways, whatever, teach their own. I share this stuff because I think it's important to be transparent, um, not because I feel like everyone needs this stuff. I have a lot to say. Actually, I don't. I didn't get Botox on my neck because we're gonna hold off on that for now. But also, if you guys have tech neck, what do you do? Second thing, I actually do think I got Botox this year. I just have no like recollection. I know that I got it here and it would have had to have been probably spring because we only opened last year. I don't know. So anyways, I was saying all that and I think that I was wrong. But anyways, heading home to get some work done so I can go to the mall today. Y'all, I got another pair of everyday pajamas because I love them, I live in them, and they have chocolate brown. I have the same style in three different colors, but the first color, Coco chewed through. One of the few things that she's chewed through. <laughs> that was not very nice of her. So then I got two other colors, and then these have like actually my hair color, chocolate brown, oh my gosh, wow. I just can't even describe to you, like I will link them below if you guys like ever don't know what to ask for for a gift or like don't know what to get someone. Everyday pajamas, they are so good and so soft. Like, wow, amazing. And these are good too, like good just like lounge wear, you know? Cause I like to change into pajamas the second that I get home. But sometimes like depending on who's at my house, I'm not gonna like just wear shirt up pajamas. Those are pajamas, but they don't really look like it. Like they could be lounge, so. Anyways, love those. Um, gonna get some work done. By the way, y'all, that reminds me. <sighs> Look, my friend of mine order. I have our cocktail napkins. So these cocktail napkins, they come with four. I'll show y'all. Um, I use them as coasters just because I'm not drinking a cocktail from home every single day. But they're really cute. You have four, I'm not even gonna, I have to film a TikTok so I don't wanna like take them out fully. Actually, I have some right here. 
you get four of these. They're essentially coasters, like fabric coasters, think like that, but they're cocktail napkins. So great for just every day to make things a little bit cuter, awesome for dinner parties, awesome for like pre-games, when you're making drinks to your friends when they come over, having a little like, cocktail hour, happy hour at the house, whatever it is, these are so cute. So they are linked below. And as always, the recipe journal. This is your sign to order one if you haven't already. I am obsessed. I actually caught one on fire last week, but that was just a sample. I needed to move them anyways because this one has like the actual one. It's a different ribbon color. And I'm just like in love. I love it so much. I've been so happy seeing y'all tag me using it. I just think it's so cute. So anyways, friendly reminder that these are available. Hats will be available very soon. I'll show y'all one of them from here. Show like five of them. This cute little corduroy hat with our brand on them. I think this hat is perfect for fall. It's cute with like even what I'm wearing now or dressing it up and like wearing it with like a sweater and boots. I just think it's the best, so I love this. So anyways, um, I will talk to you guys later. Okay, bye. Oh, no, that's what I'm saying, like I don't think, I don't think that's crazy at all. Thank you so much. Jessica and I are having a mall afternoon and I just ordered an Aperol Spritz. One of the reasons I love living in Texas is that we have plastic straws. <laughs> and you know what? I'm so grateful for that. In Florida, they don't have them. They have paper straws and everything they go there. That's shocking to uh -huh. me that Florida. I mean, they're I guess the water. water. Yeah. But that is shocking to me. I'm never going to have to be laying off. No, even, even then, it's shocking to me. <laughs> sorry, guys. Really sorry, but I think we can all agree. Do you remember on the internet? Well, I don't know. You're friends at this point. Like, the thing that would all get attacked for the most. What oh, was the plastic straws? The plastic straws. And now it's like other things. <laughs> things that mean a lot more to the world than uh, But like you're not even saying that you're not even involved. It's like adjacent. It's like your second cousin's ex-boyfriend's yeah, cousin. cousin. Straw. Yes, literally. <laughs> like, Spotted out by paparazzi. Mm -hmm. Thank you. I'm having the weirdest lunch combination. I can't talk about it. We are shopping. We are probably stopping in Williams Sonoma next. It's our next stop. Oh my god. It's just giving fall everywhere I go. I've tricked myself into thinking it's fall. I am wearing a full sweat set. She asked if she could wear Uggs today. Oh yeah. And I was like, I feel so And she bullied me out of it. I said, fine, I'll wear sneakers. That's it. But I really would have. My favorite store. This is making me so excited for Thanksgiving. I wish that I could host Thanksgiving. My parents would never let me, but. This like really does something for me. These are so cute. This was not the most successful mall day of my life. I feel like there's nothing here right now. We're doing a very quick haul from the mall. Um, honestly, I feel like September is such a weird month because it's like a transition phase and the mall was just not really giving today. But I did pick up a couple things from Sephora. I wanted um, more like brownie, mauve lip liners. So I got the Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Liner and then the Makeup Forever just Artist Color Pencil. Um, Jessica has these, or the lip liner, and she said she really likes them. And then I also got this Jolly Blush Make It Forever just lip color. I don't know, I'm always talking for that. And then I got the House Labs Foundation in a darker shade. Hopefully this works. Um, from Airy. Okay, so like Airy sweats are the most comfortable thing I've ever put on my body. And they have the ones that I love so much, but just in like wide legs, so in these brown. And they also have them in this forest green. And I will be literally living in these. Like I will probably be buying every single color they have. And then Bath and Body Works, I got quite a few. I got four candles. We got, I hate when they have these, but which one is this? Pumpkin, pecan, pecan, waffles. I also got Marshmallow Fireside. This is my all-time favorite candle. Um, Leaves, obviously, and then I think the last one's probably sweater weather. Yeah, sweater weather. Um, what an exciting, happy, happy time, truly. Just feel like that was a good day, and I'm gonna go get a spray tan. 
my stomach hurts out of nowhere so bad like I don't know what I did so um that is that and then I'm excited to get home I've been gone from my house for a lot longer than normal I just am such a homebody like I leave and I immediately want to be home. Oh, by the way, Tess is one of our like my best friends, but uh, yeah, she's small. Wait, did you ever like honk at someone or like do something to someone in another car when your mom was driving when you were younger and your mom would be like, "Stop that!" Like you never know who could have a gun. No, that ever happened. My mom just scared me for life. Yeah, no, I think that a lot of people probably do say that, but maybe um, it was just to scare me. But they're scared of men like that that get out of their car with the gun. Yes, but one thing about me is that I will never honk at anyone.